And the Globe and Mail reporting that the Conservative leader Aaron O'Toole has asked the House of Commons to investigate one of his MPs over allegations of workplace harassment. The Globe's Bob Fife is reporting that two of MP Shannon Stubbs' former aides went on mental health sick leave after allegedly experiencing workplace harassment. The Globe reporting that one of the former aides felt, quote, compelled to paint Ms. Stubbs' bedroom but the Alberta uh, MP, who did not give CTV a statement, but told the Globe, no, that was a gift. They painted my bedroom as a gift. She's denying allegations leveled against her. Ms. Stubbs was previously the conservative critic for natural resources and public safety. Notably, she was excluded from Aaron O'Toole's newest shadow cabinet. Um, she told the Globe she's a victim of retaliation because she was one of those MPs who called for a review of Mr. O'Toole's leadership after he lost the election. Again, we reached out to her, but we have not yet received any response, and none of these allegations have been proven anywhere in court. But, uh, Ian, what does this tell you now that suddenly, you know, uh, you've got Shannon Stubbs getting Mr. O'Toole kind of saying, well, we got to investigate Shannon Stubbs, even though, as we understand, these allegations kind of had been known by the uh, Conservative Party for months. Well, first off, uh, kudos to our Ottawa bureau chief for this uh, this uh, compelling story. Um, you know, it, it's, it's yet another uh, interesting wrinkle uh, in the in sort of in the existence, current existence of the Conservative Party. Um, you know, it, it's um, something today. Mr. O'Toole f appeared quite glum as he faced questions on this, and it also raises questions, I suppose, about um, uh, the, the options for staff of MPs to sort of adjudicate these kinds of issues. Uh, working for an MP is a challenging kind of different and distinct job, and perhaps there's a need for a better process to allow these, you know, for, for adjudication of these kinds of matters. Steph, you wrote an article saying uh, Aaron O'Toole may not keep his job, but he's going to try, he's going to go down fighting if he does. Um, these allegations about Shannon Stubbs allegedly go back to, like, 2018 and 2016, but they didn't surface till last Friday. Uh, you've been reporting that Aaron O'Toole is trying to take control of that party before it takes control of him. Uh, what do you make of this situation, and, and how is he doing on that internal battle to maintain the leadership? Shannon Stubbs wasn't the only one today suggesting that she was being a victim of retaliation. I mean, we saw some of the, the louder voices in certain factions of the party who don't want to see Mr. O'Toole remain on as leader um, call what was happening to her nothing more than a witch hunt. And, you know, the Whisper Network was running rampant today in conservative circles about what other shoes could be dropping and who's digging dirt on who. And suffice to say, it's a tumultuous time for the Conservatives. I mean, Aaron O'Toole is certainly exerting a measure of control over caucus. We saw that last week with the surprise motion on conversion therapy. Um, you know, when I speak to folks in the movement who, who don't necessarily want Mr. O'Toole to stay on, they say they're just biding their time. That there will come a time when Mr. O'Toole is going to have to face the membership or something is going to change, some, some twig is going to snap and they're going to revolt. Others are saying it's completely overblown. But there's, there's a lot of moving parts within the conservative machine right now. And I think specifically on the issue of Shannon Stubbs, though, and the staffing, one of the things that the conservatives, you know, have often done is they have taken accusations of... Um, shall we say, inappropriate behavior on the part of staffers and let's say the, or members of parliament opposite the bench. And they often turn those around and throw them at the liberals and throw them at the new Democrats whenever the conservatives are being accused of something. And here you have a particular set of allegations where it's clear that the same issues that exist in every party also exist within the conservative caucus. Um, and Aaron O'Toole as the leader clearly has to find a way around this. And if those allegations were brought up in, in, you know, as early as January of last year, formally in some way, and they were dismissed out of hand. Well, there needs to be a reckoning inside the OLO, the official leader of op opposition's office, about why were they discounted? Why was Shannon Stubbs taken at her word then that everything was okay, according to reporting in the Globe and Mail, and suddenly not now? So it, it's a tricky wicket for O'Toole because this is clearly seen in some circles as politically motivated and in others you know, a reflection of the staffing problems within his office that have existed for a long time. And it's clearly an issue uh, yeah, that's Ian, going to go this... on for... Sorry. Go ahead, it's Ian. clearly an issue for Mr. O'Toole that's going to go on. 
and is going to distract him from his ag agenda and talking about the issues he wants to talk about, as it did today. And you just have to say, any all parties can run into trouble, issues can come up, but it's quite a contrast how quiet things are generally in the other main parties and, and this turmoil that's uh, facing the Conservatives with petitions, now Shannon Stubbs, um, and all of this stuff around the, um, the, the, the current leader as the current leader tries to do his job. Yeah, I just, is it hard to, I don't know what the allegations particularly will amount to against Shannon Stubbs. She denies them. Obviously, there's going to be an investigation. But in the context, Steph, as what you say, the, the attempt to consolidate power for Aaron O'Toole, uh, it's hard not to see it within that framework. All right, I got to leave it there. Stephanie, and great to have the two of you on the program. Boy, is it ever busy around here.